fuck. Now we are. We're keeping that in. Yes, I am fully aware. Father, we have something we need to talk to you about. Yes. <laughs> oh no, he's doing it again. Oh, wait. We were at that battle on the bridge. Did we not save there? We got to the fortress thing. I think we saved after. Wait. Oh, you're right. But then I think it... we should just branch the fates and select freaking conquest again. It'd be easier. Hold on. Oh, you're right. Hold on. We went. We went through this already. We just do this fight again. Just skip the cutscenes. <laughs> By the way, chat, um, this fight here, you're going to be seeing, this is essentially what was in the later half of the first stream, because the first half of the stream last night, or last time, cut off for the second half, which is weird, and I said a really good shit joke that made this man laugh, and that's... <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, and it messed you up, did it? Fucking Gunter just takes out a bowl of milk and starts pouring it on the ground. Or a bottle of milk. Yeah. Babe in the Lucky Charms! <laughs> oh, I bought like opera and Lucky Charms today from my grocery store. They look gross. More enemy reinforcements! Take caution, Lord Conan. I shall pour my milk all over them and feast in their glorious Lucky Charms organs! My fucking god. <laughs> I'm done with this. God, it's so dumb. Isn't it? <laughs> yep. Aha, bitch! He just starts physically licking his spear. Oh, god. Uh, tastes like childhood. It was shit. <laughs> It's so dark, but it's so funny. Yeah, it ended right here. Oh, we didn't save oh, it. Shit. No fucking wonder. Oh, that's what happened. I remember for the context last time we got knocked the fuck out by somebody. Wait, what? Are we supposed to be at the settlement, or did it skip things? Um, the cutscene that played didn't show the damn thing. Oh, hello, the person I married in my playthrough. Ah, they're awake. Sorry about that bump on your head. Oh. Uh, it's... do I have both of my kidneys? I've seen this in movies. It's you! From the Flame Tribe, right? Where are we? Uh-huh. Ah, yeah. I'm Rinka. It's Flame Tribe village within Hoshido territories. I'm going to hand you over to the Hoshido authorities. I see. I suppose they want to hear an explanation for the unprovoked attack. And then they'll probably execute me. Well, fuck. <laughs> By the way, do you guys uh, hang people or do you guillotine them? Because I mostly prefer hanging because at least I can... That's way too fucked up for YouTube, never mind. Nah, we do the good old-fashioned seppuku. Decapitation, even. I mean, I'm more into that autoerotic asphyxiation, but uh, you do you. I don't know where I was getting at with that, but I got somewhere with it. I love how extra Ryoma's armor is, though. I've been waiting for this. <sighs> Welcome back, Kazi. Good work. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Ryoma. Huh? Did, did you just say Lord Ryoma? Oh, fuck. Um... Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna say this, I'm sorry for beating the shit out of these two when they were kidnapped, they, I was forced to, they, um, they threatened to kill me. They totally weren't my siblings. <sighs> what are you waiting for? If you're going to execute me, please just get on with it, man. Uh, do you prefer gags or whips? That is a weird 
weird shot. Mommy, it looks like it's sorry, 2D and mommy, 3D sorry, mixed in mommy, one. Mommy, sorry, mommy, sorry, mommy. <laughs> I it really, it really is you. I'm sorry. Do we know each other? Hold on. Come back, nerd. What? Wowzers! Oh, I've missed you so much. Come here, Corn, my sweet child. I missed when you used to suck on my teats 18 years ago. Um. What? Hold on. I'm drinking water. Wait. Your sweet child? What are you talking about? I have never seen those in my life. What the hell are you talking about? And then, then Ryoma's was like, Corin, your accent's showing. What? Oh, n no, it's, no, it's not. I don't know what's going on. Oh, no, my host an accent. It's not possible. My weird Texan accent. Uh, that's fun on my stream. Oh, my poor cone. It's a, it's a sad story. You were very young. You were up by forces from Nor. I'm your mother, Makoto. All this time, I didn't know if I'd ever see you again. No. She has such a fucking thick accent. <laughs> she says the thickest of all her kids. <laughs> yeah, because she was... <laughs> It's so talk about how Ryoma's hair doesn't match any of his siblings that are all red. Oh, that means she must have gotten around. Yeah, really. You were taken. Those days, there was tension between Hoshido and Noor. I was fucking useless. No full-blown war. Not until Garen lured King Sumeragi, our father, achieved under false pretenses. Said it was a priest conference. The real plan was to murder our father in cold blood. We made it even worse. Kidnapped you. N no, no, no. That's just not possible. I really don't remember any of this. Not even a single memory. No. Honestly, only the vaguest memories from my early childhood. Oh, that's what happened. Also, PTSD through trauma. Cool. Hmm. Huh. There are times when I can say it. Some there are times when I can sense <laughs> the accent just popped back out real quick. <laughs> the Norian cough. It's spreading. Corn was not vaccinated. No, the Norian cough spread it, but it's called the. It's not the Norian. It's not the Norian flu. It's the. It's the Hoshiden fever. <laughs> where Hoshiden fever. Where what ends up happening is that you randomly gain a country <laughs> accent. I feel like everybody in the country talks with the same country accent. <laughs> yeah, everyone got the, the Hoshiden, Hoshiden hay fever. fever. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> No, she did hysteria. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Just multiple viruses going around both kingdoms. Oh, yeah. That's amazing, bro. <laughs> that's why everyone has the same damn country accent, including Kaze, who wasn't even born in the fucking kingdom. <laughs> I don't know what my... Uh, I don't. I can't even use your accent. Do your accent now? <laughs> don't knock my country accent. I want to become the Hokage. gay. What you mean by that? You never knew about that. That's what you're gonna try to do about it. Well, I can't imagine Nora and Royals will share much of your past with you. I know this is a lot to take in. Just like the square dancing on a Sunday. Reporting. Lord Rioma, I have an urgent. I have an urgent message. We're under attack from the north. What? No. He's looking at soccer in that area right now. Sir. Yes, my lord. I've been told that they're working to help evacuate the villagers. 
Very well. It provides support. I'll leave immediately. Corn, you come with me. Why don't you see the truth with your own eyes? By the way, if they get to those vaccines for shit, Hoshi and high fever, we're all fucked. Sorry, I'm slowing us down. Of all times, to sprain an ankle. Oh, uh, don't worry about it, sis. We'll be okay. These stupid bees don't stand a chance against me. <laughs> I hope you're right. Route the enemy. So kill everyone in sight. Wait, cool. Well, why the fuck did we go with them? We had no reason to even do so. I mean, here's the thing. Corrin's supposed to be the morally good, good guy, so why not? I mean, Corrin's just a shonen protagonist with no free will of his own. So. Take a look around, Corrin. This is a treacherous region for battle. Point and scout ahead and look for any troublesome areas. The, I can't get over how much these things look like fucking hentai monsters. Like, they even have chains! There's giant face things that are annoying as hell. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this game is like a spin-off to waiting, because it uses a lot of its- it recycles a lot of its enemies and its, like, combat system. Yeah. I want to try out Fire Emblem Warriors someday, because that game looks fun. It's a Muso, but what can you do about that? I honestly wonder if... The, all three games are going to be one thing, and it was just going to be DLC for Awakening. Here's the thing. This game could definitely use a remake, so they can, like, just, um... How do I say this? Combine all three routes, essentially, just, and do that instead? See, it was really cool, like, in the marketing, how they're like, choose your side. But you need both games to choose a damn side. It was stupid how they did it. Like, really dumb how they did it. Europe got the best end of the stick, because they got the special edition... Like, once the DLC came out, you got everything with it. We never got that edition. Yeah, we had to like, buy it separately. This is literally the European edition we're playing right now, because we never got this edition. Yeah. Like, it's either you bought Conquest or Faith in the States, and then got the DLC. Because I don't think you could do it the other way around. Yeah, that sucks. You're I want to play Awakening. I want to play the remake of one that they did on the DS. Apparently, that's really good. Ugh. Dude, getting the remake of one on DS is so hard to find. Did you know they remade one on DS? No, actually. It's called. It's just called Fire Emblem Echoes. It's a uh, straight remake of the first game. With uh, new characters and like new dialogue and everything. Oh, is it like Shadows of Valentia or some shit? Where it's like... Yeah. Oh, so it, the Echoes is not just like a sub-name. It's literally just a sub-genre for Fire Emblem. So, the Echoes is all the remakes. And I really wish they do... I was really hoping they'd announce Fire Emblem Echoes Genealogy of the Holy War. But we can't have nice things when it comes to Nintendo. Yeah, Instead, the I... the fucking Metroid fans got fed. Here's the thing, though. I feel like we should try um, Engage, because apparently they have Ike, who's an absolute chad in that game. See, the reason I don't want to play Engage is because it's like all old characters and nothing new. It's like, yeah, okay. Not only I'd that, rather play something new. I remember when the like, game... That just smells to me a nostalgia rush job. Also, I remember... I, apparently the game's like really good. Apparently, like... Was it what, actually good? I don't know. I haven't played it. From what I could tell, like, if when you people that actually played it, that's apparently really fun. It's apparently, like, really good. Because they brought back The thing that sucks with Fire Emblem is it never goes on sale, where it goes off a of sale, and you have to pay an arm and a leg to buy it. Yeah, pretty much. Because the series holds its value like Pokemon does. I don't know what it is with Nintendo games, but they never, ever become cheaper when used. Yeah, it it's takes the them. It bullshit. takes literal years for those games to get on sale. Like Nintendo needs to start like actually having good sales. Not bad. Like I get that their hardware is cheaper than the competition, but come on, that means nothing if you're not selling software. Uh also I think I figured out why this game story is so weird. Wasn't your theory that it was supposed to all three games were supposed to release together? Then they fucked it up. No, that and also because the fact the story was made with all the characters needing to be alive on, in mind. So that means if you want to get the full story, you needed all your characters alive. Which is why the story was sure so weird. I'm pretty sure this game too. I think all three routes were released in the Japanese version. 
but for some reason it was rushed out the door in the states, so they made the third version DLC for no reason. Yeah, that's my theory. Like you literally got the full package in Japan, and you got shafted here. Yeah, that was my theory. Like us US players got completely fucked with this game. Yeah. Like absolutely fucked. Not only that, at the time Fire Emblem was failing because it wasn't even popular. It wasn't until Awakening, which added the dating sim elements, that it, people started playing the series. Well, this came out after Awakening, though. Yeah, that's why after Awakening and Awakening putting it on the map, and because of that, now they were able, now Three Houses was made, and it's one of the best Fire Emblems of modern Fire Emblems. And I I will say this: uh, this was my first Fire Emblem, and I enjoyed it. But I still think now looking back on it, they fucked us hard on the like how they marketed this game. Yeah, they definitely if they remake this game, just have all three routes. And for fuck's sakes, make it cost only thirty dollars. Don't charge a full sixty, cause that'll be bullshit. Thank you so very much. Thank you so much for coming to our aid. Those monsters will cause a lot more damage you hadn't come. I have to ask though, who are you? Well, oh, my name is. Huh? His name is Corn. Huh? Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you properly. Big sister. Hinoka, you okay? <laughs> um. Okay, fun. Um, I'll just wait for this man to come back. Okay, so Hinika's crying like a little bitch, but not what's her face, Sakura. <laughs> she doesn't know yet. Finally, after all these years. I missed you so much. Sorry. <laughs> oh, is she the one that fucked up back then? No, uh, her whole stick is that she has, like, guilt for not being strong enough to save him. Yeah, so she's the one who fucked up back then. No, that was, that was Ryoma. Uh, um, uh, um. So I'm assuming Sakura's the youngest doesn't know a thing that what's going on right now. And Oak was so attached to you when you were little, Corn. You would take it from us. She cried for months. One day she So we're like eighteen and they and if they were old enough to fight on the battlefield, then they have to be at least like thirty six. No, I think they were like no, they're they're in their twenties apparently. Apparently they were all kids. I was gonna say Raymond looks like he's forty at most. No, I think he's in his like mid twenties. That's the idea I'm getting. They must. I know they were stolen. I know that they were probably kids when he was stolen. <laughs> One day she stopped crying and picked up Naginata. I'll say, you'll find yourself facing the business end of her weapon. You'll soon be filled with major regrets about your life decisions. I have now seen the consequences of my own actions. She. She vowed to bring you back to us someday. Now here you are. Sakura's so sitting like, what happened? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Corn. I'm not usually this emotional. I'm just... Oh. <laughs> just happy to have you back. Take that, gnawing scumbags. We win, you lose. Ha <laughs> ha. Big brother. Wait. I feel like Korn's so fucking confused right now. He is. He's like, what the fuck is going on? Why the fuck are these people saying I'm their fa they're my family? Wait. This? Really Korn? That's right. Yes. I know it's big news. I'll fill in on the whole story later. For now, I should turn to the castle before Noah deploys more monsters. Everyone, let's head home. Um, what were those things? <coughs> anyway, yes. they're known as the Faceless. Creatures with no will of their own, created by Norian mages. Norian scum. I call them dead meat. But they're the only thing Noah can throw at us right now. Our mother, Queen Makoto, put up a magical bear around our kingdom. 
Vaguely, enemy soldiers find themselves not the will to fight upon crossing it. So long as Mother is able to keep the barrier up, Noah can't invade Hoshido. That's right. That's why Noah sends those things. Have no souls, no will of their own. That's why they're able to penetrate the barrier and terrorize our borders. No. But the Norians went and said, Achoo! Monsters terrorize innocent people. Huh. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I'm trying to follow your gimmick. Of course they would. Pure evil. Sometimes the faces even turn on the mages that created them. The Norians don't care, though. They wouldn't sacrifice their own just to hurt others. I forgive them for that. But there's still a new way. They'll pay for all the suffering they've caused. I can't believe it. Wait, what were you trying to do with my gimmick? You know. Hoshin and fever. Hoshin and fever. <laughs> no. But instead of coughing, it's a sneeze. Hunch! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Corrin. What your... character are we trying to do it with, though? Corrin. <laughs> the moment he came to Hoshido, his... he got the fever. <laughs> his axe is just returning. Ah, oh, shit, no! <laughs> he just goes full Texan. <laughs> no! Welcome back, Corrin. It's your old room. So why does everyone here talk like they're from uh, a weird place in a... Country I, for some reason, know about? And what's this? And what's this? Oh, that's a picture you drew when you were a little boy. It's your father. This is me. And that's you. So cute. <sighs> Got a bad touch thing in this room after you were taken. Put things away. Well, I felt like Does giving up. Out that both kingdoms are essentially gaslighting him. Yeah, both. Here's the thing. Both. No, here's the thing. It's not gaslighting if you truly believe it. Mm. You've grown so much. Can't believe how handsome you are now. Um, I'm afraid I still don't remember anything. I'm trying to think all of this through and search us all. I hope that someday we can be a family again. Hmm. I swear I'm not gasoline. That's what they tell you in the end of Birthright. But now, please, make yourself comfortable. Explore the castle, show the grounds outside. You'll be safe here. And remember, you're blood related with all these people, so don't you dare do what you did in Noor. At least that's what, at least that's what you think. Well, here's, yeah. and, and, and she explains, here's the thing. They came on to me. I didn't do a damn thing. Yeah, really. <laughs> Can't stop thinking about That's this. Me. Xander! That's me. Can't stop thinking about Xander. Or about Camila, Leo, <laughs> Elise. The ocean spray waves for some reason. Huh. Out of being for some on the shore, just out of reach. I forget what network used to advertise this game. I think it was the end before they went bunk. Yeah, it was Cartoon Network. Hello. Um, yes? Sorry. Uh, oh, uh, hello. I'm sorry to bother you. Just got lost and you're singing. There's something about that song that captivated me. You. You must be Prince Corrin. Well. Um. Yes, and you are. I am Azora. A former princess of Nor. Huh? Former. I don't understand. If that were true, surely I would have heard of you. I grew up with the Norian family, royal family. True. I'm afraid I've never heard the instrumental of this. I'm afraid I've been here a long time. 
After you were taken by the Norians, the Hoshinan forces retaliated. They tried desperately to get you back, but they failed again and again. <laughs> However, I wasn't as heavily guarded. Hoshinan Ninja usually kidnaps me. I suppose we've both been hostages for most of our lives. I see. God. So the smart. The Hoshinan Ninja kept saying, believe it. It was really weird. No, it's okay. I may technically be a hostage, but I lived a happy life. People of Hoshino have accepted me as one of their own. Even Queen Makoto herself treats me as if as if I were her daughter. Does she? Hmm. Huh? Did something happen between you and Queen Makoto? No, I just... I just don't know what to do. She seems perfectly lovely, but I don't feel any connection to her. But she loves me, and so do all my blood siblings. Who, well, <laughs> I've just met, apparently. I see. I understand if I were to return to Nora, I'd suspect I'd feel the same way. Yeah. You think you could start over there? Live a new life among strangers? I... No. Given a choice, I would prefer to stay here in Hoshido. Queen Makoto is a peace-loving ruler. King Garon is not. Hey. It's almost like there's some force in the middle of the country that's trying to make us both go to war and then ruin the nation as we know it. Ain't that something? Thank you for giving me the space I needed to think. <laughs> of course. Well, I hate you feeling better. One mind, I have a small favor to ask. Would you try to sit on the throne for a moment? <laughs> um, why would I do that? Please, listen. Well, this throne was infused the power of the first dragons. It is said that those who sat on it were getting true form and mind. Although if I sat on the throne, then perhaps... It can't be. Wait, do you not trust me? Think I was under some kind of Norian spell? <gasps> no, 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 it has nothing to do with trust. I just... I wonder if the Norians have been stealing away your me early memories. If so, maybe this special throne could help bring those lost pieces back. Those sweet memories of me and your siblings. I see. I am so very sorry. I'm sorry, Khan. I don't mean push towards something you don't want. Ah, uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me, Lynn Makoto. The ceremony is about to begin. Thank you, Yukimura. Khan, you probably don't remember him, but this is Yukimura. He's one of my strategists and brightest leaders. He also leads the yearly orgy. <laughs> Shut the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ceremonial orgy. It's very important. <laughs> <sighs> we'll be lost without him. Go on. Excellent. Thank you. Khan. I'll arrange for Takumi and Oka and Sakura to give you a toll. I thought you might want to get know the air a little bit before this event. Ah, uh, oh God! I'm trying to speak with Yukimura first, but I'll meet you at the plaza soon. <laughs> oh, for some reason, when I say the word Takumi, I feel like I'm gonna have a lethal stroke. Fuck you, Takumi. We'll be happy to show him around. Thank you, mother. Please, Zara, you mind going with them as well? Not at all. It will be my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Azura. <laughs> of course, Karn. Uh, I don't like you. Fuck you, Takumi. I can't wait to show you around. I think you'll love it here. <laughs> Thank you, Sakura. A guided tour sounds like a great idea. Did you know we spice our food with the ashes of our dead relatives? <laughs> Holy fuck, that is metal. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I made that joke last time we streamed this, and I don't remember why. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> just came up with it, like, out of nowhere. <sighs> yeah. Never. <laughs> Dude, he makes a fucking badass hit, though. Yeah, obviously. Come get your spice cakes. Spice with the ashes of your dead relatives. Hey, young man, would you like to try my well-famous roast potatoes? They're delicious and nutritious. I guarantee you'll love them. 
Well, sure, why not? Oh, oh, this is good. Damn. Oh, that's where I came up with it. I've never tasted spices like these before. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Hi, uh, can, can we? Can you go back to the morgue and get me some more of those uh, urns, please? <laughs> oh God, that's good. I didn't taste spices like <laughs> these before. Up. This is amazing. <laughs> Why does it taste like somebody's grandma? Told you. There. Take an extra one on the house. Share it with your lady friend. Thank you. Oh. Oh God, uh, she's my sister. Oh well, thank you very much. Oh, she met his girl. Watching it soccer for a minute. Thank you, Corin. Like it. Like I said, I've always been happy here. Ugh. Don't get too com comfortable, brother. Um. Um. Pardon me. I don't trust you. Look, I don't trust you. Shouldn't you be? He hey. Look, I, look. I'm just giving you straight. I don't trust you. Shouldn't you be heading back to Nor soon? Hey, Takumi. Guess what? Mom said you were a mistake. Fuck you. <laughs> she said what? <laughs> Takumi goes off crying. Takumi? Hold on a hey, who she call me by my name? I haven't heard that privilege either. No. That, Damn! That fuck you, Takumi! It doesn't even make any sense, dude. I forgot he said that to her. Fuck you, Takumi. <laughs> Excuse, uh, <laughs> Excuse me? Listen. Look, Ozer has been Hoshido for as long as I've been gone. Shouldn't that be enough to consider her a part of the family? I don't care. I don't trust either of you. I won't tell you that to your face. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs>100%. I like how they just let this random dude just show up out of nowhere. Oh, you're wearing a cloak? Hey, uh, this is security. Should we let this guy with a cloak in? Yeah, what's the problem? Oh shit. We now interrupt the scene from Fire Emblem to show you the opening scene of. Never mind, never mind. Wait, so was the plan to kill Corrin originally? I don't think they cared. Tell me you're okay. Oh, they just wanted to start a war. That was the point. I like how they expect you to care this fast. You there. Show yourself. This is early, Matt Mercer. Yeah. Also, oh, they switched out the CGI for animated cutscene. Cool. They probably couldn't do the dragon in 3D. Yeah, probably was a pain in the ass to do. There we go. But then it switches back to CG again. That had to be a bitch to blend. What? Oh, God damn, what is that? Shut up, Takumi! It's an ancient dragon. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. They expect you to you be. Just scream, shut up, Takumi and dragon. They expect you to be so sad this early on so fast. I know. Like, it wasn't earned. At least, get, at least let us know her for a couple more chapters, at least. Yeah, but they need to split the fate somewhere. Yeah, they need to do it early somehow, which is why they remake this game. Add some more chapters, please. Corn, like, make it like a Fire Lemon Bloom Echoes Revelations or some shit. 
That's what they could do. Just call it Fire Emblem Echoes Revelations and just combine all three routes. Right? Or just Fire Emblem. It's weird because it's called Fire Emblem If in Japan. So it'd be Fire Emblem Echoes If. Yeah, cause... And then for us, it would be Fire Emblem Echoes Fates. Oh, you know what they should call it? Fire Emblem Echoes of Fate. Or just Fire Emblem Echoes Fates. That just sounds better. Rolls up FFF. Echoes of Fate sounds better. Just adding the of makes it sound less cringe. FFEF. <laughs> Vengeance will be Vengeance. mine. Oh. Prepare to die. <laughs> he looks like a Kingdom Hearts villain from the back. He does. I'd love to play more Kingdom Hearts, but it always gets fucking muted. Is there a way to mute the music in OG Kingdom Hearts? I don't know. Well, shit. And yeah, they expect you to like these characters so fast. When in reality... Be careful, everyone. The enemies are no mere faceless. One wrong move and they're perfectly, capa and they're perfectly capable of ending you. Hope we can count on Korn, even in his new form. If we win this, there'll be Southern Biscuits for everyone. I don't mean to make fun of your accent, but it's funny. What's up for magical attacks, Corn? Your defense against physical attacks is strong, but you'll need higher resistance to protect yourself against mages. How does everybody know this? Don't you know? Like, Let's put it. Honest to God, how? He just got this form. Hey, they. Hey, uh, the, the Google. <laughs> the internet. Everyone has a game facts in this game open. Fucking game facts exists. And people still make game faxes. It's one of the oldest gaming websites. Oh well, he's well. His corpse is now in pieces. I think every hit you get in this dragon form for the first time is a crit, though. One thing Fire Emblem that's always bugged me is healers can't heal themselves. Especially in this version where healers can only use staffs and not attack at all. Yeah, it's annoying. Like, every other version, healers can protect themselves except this version, and it's irritating. Oh, this is gonna hit. It's gonna kill. Never mind, it's not. Fuck! At least he leveled up. Well, yeah, I feel pretty like difficult I fight. feel like this game's story only makes sense if you have everyone alive, which is probably why the casual th casual difficulty exists. Because I know ever since Awakening casual. is when they started getting casual in there. Well, no, they're still alive. They're still in the cutscenes that you can't be played as. Y'all still don't get the uh, where are they now afterwards. Oh, look at that, her first kill. Now she's probably going to level up. Oh, she gets a lot of XP, though. I taste blood. I'm going to separate the two. Are you trying to have her heal herself? Because healers can't heal themselves. Which is really irritating in Fire Emblem. It's almost like the Medic Stone Heal Scouts meme. Nice, you leveled up. Let's go. Level two. Oh. And then use the staff to heal Rinka. We can do this. Cosmetics don't heal scouts. Please don't hit Ryoma. It's gonna suck. Oh! Oh, he activated I'm gonna rip your organs out mode. Never mind. You kill me, but you can't kill the spirit of Hoshido. Oh, you're right. I'll retreat. Yeah, I think that's supposed to happen. 
Oh no. Oh fuck. Oh no. Oh! Oh! Are you kidding oh my me? God. Yeah, oh my god. Bolted in the face. You know how hard it is to keep Sakura alive? Bro! Bro, they went for her twice! They went for the fucking throat! <laughs> Alright, payback asshole. Is it Bukuchi? I think it is. Show me what you got. <laughs> Gladly. You're a dead man. Shut up. Don't be talking shit. It looks like he... He just cut his fucking body from his legs. I need those legs! <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Does anyone have any prosthetics for my now missing legs? And arms. And spleen. No one! She could hit there. I didn't see. It yeah, she got. A bit. Yeah, she got hit in the face. The voice acting is so good for for characters that barely have lines that are voiced. Yeah, really. Oh, you're new. Hey, Devin. Devin. Devin, what's up? Dragon design is interesting. I don't know how they could see, but they could see, but it's very creative. Yeah, it is very creative, like for what it is. I'm gonna be honest. I never liked the design of the dragon in this game. Other Fire Emblem games, I liked it, but this game, I think it looked too much like a deer. I could see it. Yeah, I could see where you're coming from, but like realistic. But either way, the design looks sick. Oh, I, I finally remember. I remember. Ah, here's the flashback. Oh, damn, he got aced. Never mind, he would have got donated. Never mind. He was like that, he got um, that dude from Vinland Saga. Oh, yeah, really? Wait, was that Ryoma there? Or that's is that the dad? That's the dad. Damn! Rated T for teen. The gyro camera was such a cool thing for the 3DS. Yeah. Can they even do that with a remake? Is the question? Yeah, like, because obviously since this is a custom character, they have to, like, they can't exactly show his face, so they gotta rely on it. Because they would have to remake every cutscene for every hairstyle, every... Oh, well, they could just... Actually... Oh, it's actually way worse than I realized. Oh, they could... You know how some games, when you like um, you have a custom character and you can see their outfits, that the cutscenes would change because yeah. they're real-time? Just have it real-time. That's all they gotta do. They could do it for the Switch, too, because the cutscenes look good enough, so they could just do it for Switch, too. If they remake it. My real, my real father. No, uh, dude. <laughs> that dude stole my line. I know, it's that purpose. My real father. Are you alright? I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm fine. 
just disgusted with myself. Are you okay? I can't believe what I just did to you. It was like no control over myself. No. Please, don't worry about it. I wasn't you. It was the blood of the ancient dragon that runs in your veins. Huh? I thought only the Norian royal family had dragon blood. Yes. Blood of dust dragons runs in the Norian, ro Norian royal family. And the blood of the dawn dragon runs through ours. But, you're a special corn. You can actually take the form of a dragon. I've heard of such a thing, but this is my first time seeing it in real life. <sighs> Never mind me. What happened to all the innocent people in town? Yeah, they're dead. Oh yeah, they're dead. Don't there's worry a, about it. There's a corpse there. Um, there's a decapitated head over there in that barrel. There's a... Uh, Somebody's arms over there. Uh, there's some guy's head on a pike. I can't believe the this. old lady that was selling, that was selling, that was selling human ash burgers is dead over there. Don't don't question it. The entire town devastated. An hour ago, these streets were filled with vendors and children. And... Listen. So you see, Karn, this is the work of the Norians. This is what they do. Let me guess. That sword you carried was a gift, King Garon. Yes. Uh, yes. He's mastermind this whole thing. It's not your fault. He knew you'd be captured and brought before the queen. Why? But why? Why would he do this? I'm so sorry I couldn't see it coming. <clears throat> oh, your apology means nothing. <clears throat> what? Hey, Takumi. See this finger? Shove it Look up at your, it. Shove it up your ass and then lick it. <laughs> <laughs> Countless others. And it shouldn't have happened if you had shown up. And it wouldn't have happened if you had shown up on our doorstep. You don't belong here. Hey. Enough, Takumi. Oh, you. Your words won't change anything. And besides... Shut up. Oh, shut up, Osler. You're no different than corn. An interloper. Roman just slaps the Kumi in the face. You. Whoa. Oh yeah, just uh, you're not too far from the deer comparison. Corns based on a horse-like water dragon called a kidding. Oh, that makes a lot more what sense. What is a deer-like creature then? Don't speak my name. I don't ever want to see you again. We really believe you had no idea this would happen. What? Oh, Kumi, what are you saying? Knock it off. You just saw corn help us defeat these Norman soldiers. Hey. Takumi, please. You must listen. Corn is your brother. If you don't trust me, that's one thing. But Corn is your own blood. Mother is dead thanks to him. He's not no he's not, ain't no brother of mine. I'm so sorry. Everyone I brought nothing but pain to all of you. It would be better if I'd never come here. Maybe I should just leave. Please. Wait. Oh, please, wait. I don't believe that's what Kumi Makoto would have wanted. Oh, what will you know about it, Yukimura? What did you say? What do you mean? She say something to you? Hmm. I haven't heard this news, but Kumi Makoto foresaw her own death. This isn't your fault, Corn. King Garon sent this advance in motion. The Queen speculated. He wants to get the Triforce for some reason. And the Queen speculated that there may be even even darker force at work. Even know when or how death would strike. All that it was certain. There's one other thing. Please. Take a look at that statue. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's some random sword that's been there the whole time. Huh? Is that a sword? It can't be. No, Corn. It's a mace. It is. A divine sword, Yato. But it's like your weapon, Ryoma. Divine Ajinto. And your Fujin Yumi Takumi. Yato may be wielded by only a singular warrior. One who is chosen by the blade itself. 
It is said that the Yatsa was full should be the key to peace in our world. The key to peace. Now, let's go rip off King Arthur, shall we? No, never mind. The game's going to do that for us. I like how <laughs> this just... Core just casually has it. <laughs> it's just like, oh, you're here? Okay, yeah. here you go. <laughs> oh, finally! The dude is meant to be wielding me for the last fucking 18 years is here. It's my birthday. He's like, come here, you little fucker. <laughs> <laughs> you little shit! It, it, it just discovers that he's in Nord, just fucking flies out the fucking statue and just almost stabs him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he catches it out of sheer fucking will. <laughs> gotcha! Like that fucking scene in, uh... Oh my god, what was it? Seven Deadly Sins where he throws a fucking spear at a fucking fortress from like miles away and it blows it the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking dude. Dude, Seven Deadly Sins is good, but I still can't take it seriously. It's ridiculous. That can't be. Impossible. Huh? Corn, you know what this means? Corn, are you listening? Can you hear us? You got Yato. It's great waves, destined to seek light beyond the... I really like the, uh, cool, the instrumental live. of that. Huh? Is there anything I can do? Yes. This is called the Dragon Stone. It will allow you to control the dragon's power and still return to your human form. I had it in my prison pocket. <laughs> That's right. I shoved books up my ass as well. <laughs> I've been waiting to use that. <laughs> you have been, haven't you? Yes. I'm like, oh, I know what this is. And I immediately began waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's my dragon butt plug. I keep it shoved up there now some time to make sure my dragon Jesus doesn't take Christ. over again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Listen, I go on baddragon.com a little too much during the day. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? saying? <laughs> Don't search up bad dragon, kids. Don't search it up. That is a warning. No. Don't. No. Don't. I see <laughs> you. Really I see you typing it right now. Don't type it. You better not. <laughs> Oh, um, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, did I make you uncomfortable? I know, and we've only known each other in a little while, but I feel close to you. You already risked your life to help me call my dragon form. I only hope that someday I can repay the favor. <laughs> Thank you, Corn. By the way, did you know if you remove the R from your name, it says Corn? Which, uh, and he's like, no, we've been saying the eye. It's like corn. It so that was supposed to be corn, but they added an eye to it. <laughs> oh, it just yes, your bread and butter, corn. You're alive. <laughs> they have it. You have, <laughs> have they? Big brother. I think I'm finally getting a hold of this damn thing. Xander, I'm I'm fine, but why are you invading Hoshido? Father says it's time to show our two strength! Death to all the infidels! <laughs> that was fucking weird. Join us and we will end this quickly. If we conquer Hoshido, here and now, we can <laughs> avoid necessary bloodshed! <sighs> Xander, I. Look, look. I need a minute, okay? Careful, Corn, that man's annoying commander. Ryoma. Oh. Born, I was so worried about you. Don't ever wander from me again. Or I'll have to break the you whip out. The own luck. Stop saying that. <laughs> saying what? You got the devil's own luck. Uh oh. I think that's like the only fucking line he recorded, I swear. Oh, dude. I'm glad you're okay, Corin. You must have the devil's own luck. By the way, you want some devil's lettuce? Shut the fuck up. That Yay, is... we got our brother back! Norian scum. First you kidnap him, now you lie to him? Corn is my brother, not yours. No. You're mistaken. Corn is my sweet little brother. I almost suffocated him with my titties once. You may not have him. Don't be. 
Don't be fooled by their words. You belong with you, family, and Hoshido. <coughs> Raised you since you were a child. Come home, little prince. We can live as a family. What? Wait, what the fuck? He says, come home, little prince, and then it comes to an explanation point? Is he just screaming the second part of that sentence? <laughs> come home, little prince. <coughs> we can live as a family once more! Murder! <laughs> Come home and host you, Corn. No, Corn. Nor is your your home. We really need to find a damn vaccine for this thing. This way. Big, big brother. He's my brother. All this is over you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I always love this cutscene. Time to cross the fates. <sighs> My family. If I am okay, defend Hoshido, fight leads to birthright, fight with Nora leads to conquest. And we're picking revelations. <laughs> fuck I, all of you, I refuse to pick a side. I, ref I don't give a fuck. into the ground. I... I won't betray anyone. I won't fight against the people of Nor after you cared about me for all these years. You, Camila, Leo, and Elise. You might not be related by blood, but you are family to me. You've been with me for as long as I can remember. Well said, little prince. What ties us in <laughs> to get bigger than blood? It's murder! Yeah! <laughs> Fucking joke. Why did I start saying that the other day? What are you saying, Corrin? You would have scarred the true family and soured those who stand against us? No. No. I refuse to fight against my whole shit and siblings either. Ryoma. We might not have spent much time together, but. You're my family too. Everyone. You, Hinoka, Takumi, Sakura. I don't want to fight with okay, you maybe on this or any other battlefield. That's true. We feel the same, Corrin. But I can't side with either of you against one or the other. I can't betray any of my family. Corrin, what are you? going to do then I'm so sorry I'm sorry both of you please set your swords aside I'm sure a peaceful solution exists if we could just I've heard enough Corin I can see what you're trying to accomplish here as your older brother Wait, what? As your older brother. However, it is my <laughs> duty to teach you the truth! Not on my watch. Not while I still stand. Corn is finally back with his family. Not letting you take him again. No, no wait. Xander, Yoma! Silence! Don't think for a moment that I will let you take Corin without a fight. It seems only right to cross swords with my <laughs> opponent equal as heirs to their respective families. If we don't settle this here and now, I welcome the challenge. Prepare yourself, then. I'll defeat you, in my defense of my kingdom and my brother. No. Please, Baldy, stop. We can still talk this out instead. Ah, it's no use. Nice break your ears there. Ah, it's no use. Just won't listen to me. I have to step in if I want to stop him. I have to get their attention and want to stop them from fighting. Hey. I have an idea. Why don't we attack the group closest to us? We can defeat the leaders, 
Ryoma and Xander can't possibly ignore us. Just in time. Phew! I made this in time, Lord Corn. Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. Oh, I had to run like 50 miles. Oh. Felicia. My period. Fucking difficult that was. Felicia, what are you doing here? Oh, oh, that's a fine greeting after running 50 miles. And here I was, panic out to get separated. Just oh. sprinted here all the way from Hoshido. Oh, oh, no, hold on. Let me catch my breath. Just oh. vomits all over. I spent all my time trying to figure out where you went. It took a while. <sighs> I finally caught up to it with you. I don't know what's going on, but you got count on me to help. Thank you. Thank you. Grateful to have you here. Um, um, so, who exactly are we fighting? Everyone seems really worked up, but they don't look like they're our allies. Yeah. Shore version. We're up against the Hoshinan army and the Norian army right now. Just not decided with either of them. Why? Your, your cup is serious. Two armies. What have you got yourself into, my lord? I suppose it doesn't matter. Your enemies are my enemies. I'll help you as best as I can. I got myself in Shit Creek without a paddle. Defeat both bosses within five turns. Fight. Got it. All right, fucker, get over here. Well, you, Azura, you go with this lady. An iron. I'ma kick your ass with a stick. It's an iron club, apparently. Oh god. Oh god, is right. I think I need to make her run back. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a serious mistake. Oh, yeah, that was a big mistake. Well, I, I need to look at the bottom. Isn't this, I'm pretty sure this mode's supposed to be harvest mode. Hold on, I need to look at the bottom. Okay, the leaders are right here. I just need to move you to attack. Oh, this is gonna help. Come on, asshole. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, thank God. Should be protected at least for the next turn. I kind of thought of switching them out like that. That was actually a good idea. Look, see? Defended. I think the last time I did this, I was trying to... Oh, you're a dead man. I just like Goblin Slay with his armor. Howdy! And, um, Look, you I'm are now- dragon. You, Your dragon has just crushed your corpse. <laughs> you are now a stain on the I floor. I used my dragon to kill your dragon. You are now a stain on the corpse. Even if we aren't blood related, don't you <laughs> feel loyalty to us at all, you bastard? Xander, I just want you to listen to what I'm saying. Corn. why would you betray Hoshido? You lost all sense of justice. You don't understand me, I haven't betrayed you. No. <laughs> <coughs> uh, I think it's finally over. I always thought you. <laughs> no. I always thought of you as a brother. Damn it all. Spread word amongst the troops. Corin has turned traitor. From this moment forth, he is our enemy, and should be captured on sight. No. Why won't you listen to me? Oh, why won't you listen to me? No. Corrin. And now, I still remember the agony I felt the day you were kidnapped. I know we can't go back to time we lost. Get back to time we lost, but. I still hope that someday 
be reunited as family. Seeing now that I was living a fantasy. Tell everyone, Corn is truly lost to us. He insists on becoming our enemy. And all I could do is fight him. Big brother. Ryoma, I. Wait. Both of these armies lack critical thinking skills. Yes, but then again, one side's desperate to get resources for their kingdom that is dying, and the other wants revenge. So. I don't think. Yeah. The thing is, I don't think. They, it's not that they don't have them, it's that the emotions are really high right now. And apparently, the true enemy is using both of this. It's using both of these factors to yeah, the make a war that'll destroy everything. From what we know from playing for this before. Yeah, this is essentially they're they're trying to pull a Palpatine. Huh. Listen. Listen to me. You'll lose everything if you don't choose a side. It's either Hoshido or Nor. No. No. There's a third option. You can choose not to support either side. But how? Yeah. I have family in Hoshiro, but I also have family in Nor. Even if I were to lose everything, even if all of them despise me, I can't choose to side with one against the other. I simply can't do that. I don't care if I lose everything. This is what I've decided. I see. I see. You have to be willing to risk a lot to accomplish something major. I suppose you're right. My own mother lost her life protecting Nor. But I don't think she regretted her choice. She died to protect the ones she loved. I made up my mind as well. I will allow you down the path you've chosen. Azura. Thank you. Here we go. Epic intro time. Wasn't this the trailer? No. Cheryl was, quote, Do you stand with those you gave birth to you? Or the ones you raised you as their own? Fire Emblem Fates for Nintendo 3DS. It aired on Cartoon like 50 times a day. I remember Game Show was aired on TV. So the fucking times. East versus West. Literally is. I feel like the whole theme of this game is individuality. And now choosing a side isn't always the right thing to do. This is such a good intro, though. It's like it builds up. It hype. is. Unfortunately, the rest of the game is not as good. I know. That's what sucks. It's like, bro, this game is a like the intro is so strong, but Adios, after that, they don't know what to do because at Destiny the end of the day, it's a Fire Emblem game. Beyond. You know, with permadeath. I know. And this game is meant to be heavily character driven. And if those characters are dead, you can't really do much with a character-driven character story, can you? You really can't. You can't really do much with that type of story if you're going to have every character die permanently. Which is why no, I said really that the theory I had for this game is that Revelations was the true story, and if you want the full story, you have to have all your units alive. Unfortunately, with the way Fire Emblem is made, it just doesn't work that way. It really doesn't. It's kind of a long story. I'll explain later. Come on. Wait, does this mean you created a bestiality with a maid? No. Holy shit, Corin. First off, I only barely figured this out yesterday. Come on. That joke's only gonna land for people that watched the last stream, damn it. And even then, they probably didn't even watch it in full because of the fact the stream got cut out an hour, late, an hour in. Not if we didn't... You might have also cut that out. No, it literally just got cut out an hour in. 
I have the full recording. I just need to post the other half of the VOD. So, there was a joke during last stream. We just couldn't contain ourselves. that We, we made a joke that Corn fucked everybody in the Norian household except for... Uh, Here's the thing, though. It was also a joke that it wasn't that he did it willingly, either. It's like, they all came to him. Except the guys, obviously. He essentially became a fucking visual novel protagonist, and everybody except for at least wanted to fuck him. From here on out, you and your allies will continue down your chosen path. I promise to do everything in my power to help you on your journey. As such, pills, please feel free to use this astral plane to rest or prepare for battle. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lilith. Your kindness and support are very much appreciated. Ah, you're so very welcome. Oh, by the way, this place is filled with dragon's veins. <laughs> Long story short, you can use them to customize your castle as you see fit. Let's try it right now. I'll help. Also, don't worry. We made sure if Takumi comes along, he will be sleeping in the horse stables. Pretty much. We made sure to include one less bed just every time it's upgraded. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> There's just never a bed for him. Oh, so not for nothing, but leveling up Lilith in our situation doesn't matter. Because we're not going to be playing online. For her, for this one specifically, but i just like to level it up just for the sake of it. I just think it's fun. Because Lilith's meant to be, like, support for when you're, like, battle. I did like that with this, how, like, your castle could be, like, you could do, like, online raids and shit. Yeah. Problem is, those online raids were still permadeath. Yeah. Thank you. I feel more powerful now. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me see. Do I get access to it? Yup! I got it! <laughs> oh, you do have a... That means we could fucking superpower uh, What's-Her-Face. Azra. Alright, let's do this. Hey, Azra, I got a gift for you. We're gonna make you less shit. Inventory. Uh, trade with Azura. Oh, wait, the HP tonic's for me. Nope. Nope. Just the biggest protein shake ever. Wait, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's Corrin's. There's one thing I've never liked with Fire Emblem. It's their fucking inventory system. <laughs> we could. We totally could. Now let's check your stats. It's way too early in the game to do that. No, let us check thine bitch's stats. Luck oh, I let us check thine cunt stats. Healing, healing oh, descent. Cut that. Allies within two spaces heal up to 10% HP at the start of their turn. Nice. Luck plus four grants luck plus two. Attack 13, crit 0, avoidance 23, hit 111. Holy! How's that compared to Corrin? So, my question is... So, you know how we, uh... How he becomes, like, a Hoshinan prince when you're playing Birthright and then he becomes a Norian, like, prince or whatever? Or Norian lord when you're playing, uh... The other one? Yeah, the mask. What does he become when you class change him in this one? That's what I'm wondering. Give this man more HP. Dread Scroll. <laughs> Wait, can we make him a Dread Fighter? I, could, I think so. That's interesting. Yeah, her attack is 13, her crit is 0. Her avoidance is 23. She has the av best avoidance out of all of us. And she hits, a, and her hit is 111. That means she's gonna hit very often. Holy shit, dude! <laughs> this is my strat before, and it worked. Somehow it worked. You yeah, psycho. You wanna give Devin the old give, give Devin the old context. So we pretty much turned Azor into a super soldier last time. 
Yeah, like and it, somehow, some way, it got us through the shittiest parts of this game. Yeah, because what would end up happening is that we would play it on our spare time, and you know, just sort of chill. What ended up happening is like out of curiosity, I'm like, huh, I'm tired of Azura being weak. What if I level her up with these bonus goodies? And then I proceeded to make her one of my best characters. Now, on contrast, I was playing, I played through Birthright on Permadeath, and she died, like, in the first three chapters of my game. And when I did, and the thing is, I also found a way to break the game by abusing her sing skill. <laughs> I need to play Birthright again. I could probably actually beat it pretty easily if I actually went to... Yeah, but pretty much I abused her sing skill to level her up, and it was amazing. <laughs> Like, I, for God knows how I pulled it off, but I did. Can't. Okay, yeah, probably best ended here then. <laughs> Why does this sort of thing always happen to me? I ruined another meal. I thought I found the recipe perfectly this time. Oh, hey, Felicia. What's the matter? Oh, no. Did you start another fire? That's the third time this month. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Not this time. This time I just ruined another meal. Wait, she set three fires already? <laughs> that's my Jesus. that's my thing too. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Three fires? <laughs> um, Felicia, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Come on, just cheer up. You're plenty helpful to everyone. I promise. Uh, sorry, but <laughs> I don't believe that's at all. Well, what about that last battle? When you got the attention, enemy's attention by screaming. By screaming. And then you not only got them to come out after you, but you took them out all out. Took them all out too. I've never by tripping. Bold strategy, such bravery. Oh. She just does that generic anime girl trip when they get lucky and fucking everyone gets hit by the shit in her bag. Felicia, Felicia, what's wrong? Why are you curling up on the floor again? You really don't understand, do you? That wasn't a strategy, Corin. I was just trying to run away from them, and then I got surrounded. I had to fight my way out or die. I wasn't being brave, I was terrified. She's oh. now become Shrek. <laughs> she, when she gets angry, she gets Scottish. <laughs> She's like, I am now Shrek. Oh, just oh, comes in, oh, oh, that's my kind of woman. Oh, 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 really? Gonna fooled me. I don't want to be a good warrior anyway. We have plenty of soldiers already. I want to be a good maid. I want to be able to mend clothes and make food and wash dishes and the like. Have you seen comp lately? lately? We need that more than we need extra muscle. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I suppose you don't have to join us on the battlefield. But then I'd be completely worthless. No, don't say that. You could, um, uh, you could help with... Oh, look, a faceless. I have to go. <laughs> I have to oh, go. I'm going back to my corner. Her moping corner. Uh, I, I love Felicia, though. Uh, she's such a... Dude, she's such a girl failure, dude. <laughs> dude, why, do you think, why the fuck did we get married in my game? She was great. I have so many questions to ask you. So this was actually a mini game in the Japanese version that they cut out. For some weird reason. Corin and Azora's relationship improved. Which I mean, why, the ESRB, man, they don't want why, face touching to be Which a is thing. why, if they remake this game, they're probably going to have to use 3D models for this scene. Azora left in high spirits. What Dude, the I ESRB, do? man, they don't like that face touching. Alright, well, I'm going to end stream here. For those that stayed at the end of the stream, I would like to thank you all, because after the shit show that was yesterday with the lag, um, yeah, I'm just happy you guys even showed up. And also, please, dude, next time, please show up for the stream. I don't want to be left alone with Persona. Sorry. <sighs> and uh, for those watching after the stream, go ahead and get that like button. I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribed. I want to reach 150 followers or 150 subscribers by the end of the month. So I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button, please please do and uh if you guys want to leave a comment go ahead and well um if you want to see more of my tism shenanigans go follow me on jpl79 on tiktok have fun with that yeah bye bye well i'll see y'all later bye bye